while analyzing this circuit sometimes situation arises when the resistors are neither in series and nor in parallel and in these situations delta to y conversion and y to delta conversion plays an important role so in this lecture we are going to understand what is delta network what is y network and how to obtain the y network when delta network is present so we are going to perform the conversion of delta network to y network and we will begin our discussion with understanding what is y network y network is the network in which three resistors are connected in this manner that they are forming the letter y and that's why we call it y network r1 r2 and r3 are the three resistors 1 2 3 and 4 are the four terminals in this network now the same network can have a different form if i lift this particular node to this particular position we will have this network and here we are having t letter formed by r1 r2 and r3 therefore we call this network t network so both the networks are same all the parameters will remain the same only the form is different so i hope you now understand what is y network and what is t network now we will understand what is delta network in delta network three resistors are connected in such a way that they form delta when you flip this network 180 degrees you will find ra rb and rc are forming a structure which looks like delta therefore we call this network delta network we can have the same network if we lift this particular terminal of this branch and place it here and if we lift this particular terminal of this branch and place it here we will have all the parameters same in this network but here the three resistors are forming pi that's why we call it pi network so we are done with the basic introduction to all the networks and now we are going to perform the conversion of delta network to y network this means we have the delta network and by having the delta network we mean we know the values of ra rb and rc and now we want to have a y network in place of this delta network that is we want to calculate r1 r2 and r3 and i will first give you the formulas and then we will prove them r1 is equal to ra multiplied to rb r a multiplied to rb divided by sum of all the three resistors in the delta network that is ra plus rb plus rc ra plus rb plus rc so you can see that in the denominator we have sum of all the three resistances in the delta network and in numerator we have product of resistances which are present on the left side of r1 and on the right side of r1 that is ra and rb now following the same process we can write r2 we know in the denominator we are going to have the sum of ra rb and rc and in numerator we have rb multiplied to rc rb multiplied to rc and r3 is equal to ra multiplied to rc in numerator and in denominator we have ra plus rb plus rc so remember these results 
and whenever you have inductors in place of resistors then the formula will have the same pattern and even if you have impedances in place of resistors you are going to have the same pattern in the formula so note down this point that for inductors and impedances the formula will have the same pattern and now we are going to prove that R1 is equal to RARB divided by RA plus RB plus RC and for that we will focus on our network which is Y network and in this network if we apply one voltage source between the terminals 1 and 2 then current will flow through R1 then through R3 and then move back to the same source. This means no current is flowing through R2. Therefore, the equivalent resistance will be R1 plus R3. They are in series. So we can say that R12, that is resistance between terminal 1 and terminal 2 inside the bracket Y representing that we are talking about Y network is equal to R1 plus R3 R1 plus R3 and now we are going to calculate the equivalent resistance between the terminals 1 and 2 in the delta network and when you look at the equivalent resistance between terminal 1 and terminal 2 you will find it is RA in parallel with RB plus RC. RB and RC are in series and then they are in parallel with RA. So we have RA in parallel with RB plus RC. And to replace delta network by the Y network, the resistance between one two terminals of Y network and the resistance between 1 2 terminals of delta network should be same therefore r12 y is equal to r12 of delta this should be satisfied and from here we can say that r1 plus r3 r1 plus r3 is equal to RA parallel with RB plus RC RA parallel with RB plus RC let's call this equation number 1 and now we will calculate the equivalent resistance between the terminal 1 and terminal 3 in the Y network so R13 Y and it is equal to R1 plus R2 R1 plus R2 and the equivalent resistance between 1 and 3 terminals of delta network is equal to RB in parallel with RA plus RC RB in parallel with RA plus RC and we know R13 in Y should be equal to R13 in delta this implies R1 plus R2 should be equal to RB in parallel with RA plus RC let's call this equation number 2 and now we will find out the equivalent resistance between the terminals 3 and 4 so we will find out R34 in Y network and R34 in the delta network in the Y network between 3 and 4 terminals the equivalent resistance is R2 plus R3 R2 plus R3 and in the delta network the equivalent resistance between terminal 3 and terminal 4 is RC in parallel with RA plus RB so we have RC in parallel with RA plus RB and we know they should be equal so we can say that R2 plus R3 
should be equal to RC in parallel with RA plus RB. Let's call this equation number 3. And now we are going to subtract equation number 3 from equation number 1. We will subtract equation number 3 from equation number 1 and therefore on the left hand side we have R1 plus R3 minus R2 plus R3 R2 plus R3 and on the right hand side we will have Ra multiplied to Rb plus Rc divided by Ra plus Rb plus Rc. We can write Ra parallel with Rb plus Rc like this. Then we have minus Rc multiplied to Ra plus Rb divided by Ra plus Rb plus Rc. We have written Rc in parallel with Ra plus Rb like this. And now we are going to simplify the left hand side and the right hand side. On the left hand side we have R1 minus R2 and on the right hand side we will have Ra Rb plus Ra Rc minus Ra Rc minus Rb Rc divided by Ra plus Rb plus Rc. Now here you can see that R A R C will cancel out with minus R A R C. So we are left with R1 minus R2 on the left hand side and on the right hand side we have R A R B minus R B R C divided by R A plus R B plus R C. Let's call this equation number 4 and now we will add equation number 2 and equation number 4. So let us add the second equation and the fourth equation. On the left hand side we will have 2 times R1 and on the right hand side we will have Ra plus Rb plus Rc in the denominator. And in the numerator, we will have Ra Rb plus Rb Rc plus Ra Rb minus Rb Rc. And you can see that Rb Rc will cancel out. So we have two times R1 on the left hand side and on the right hand side we have two times Ra Rb. R A R B in the numerator and in denominator we have R A R B plus R C. 2 and 2 will cancel out. So finally we are having R1 equal to R A R B divided by R A plus R B plus R C. Now compare this with the formula I have given. You will find they are same. Now following the same approach you can prove R2 is equal to this and R3 is equal to this. So I hope this lecture was clear to you. The important thing is these three results. Even if you don't know how to prove them, there will be no problem in the gate examination. But in your semester examinations they may ask you the proof. Therefore. It was important to discuss the proof but the most important thing is the result. In the next lecture we will perform the conversion of y to delta. Now I will end this lecture here. See you in the next one.